Good morning. Um, I am here with another collection obsession layout. Um, but first I wanted to show this to Colleen because we were talking about the horse paper that was in the um, Maggie Holmes Market Square. And this is the other paper that had horses on it. And it's really cute. I mean, this one's got a little um, bird on the back, little flowers in the hair. Really cute ones. Oh, here's another bird on this one. So I just told her I would show her this paper. Okay. So I just thought that was adorable too. Okay, so um, I've got Skylar here. I've already got, I mean, I already have this all layered. So I've got a block design going on. And this is the same paper front and back. And this one, I used this last time with the words. And this time I'm using this blue paper. And I've already used that in my first layout, but I ran it this way. So I thought I better mix it up. <laughs> I just like this one better with her, um, with the photos. I just thought it looked like it needed the darker paper. And she's got on this navy blue dress. And again, she's, you know, modeling the dress for her mom. And so, I think this paper, is that the way it goes? I don't know if it, there's a up and a down or not. I think that looks like the way it needs to go, even though there's probably no difference whatsoever. So I've already got her matted on just white cardstock, and now I'm putting on a little bit of this blue, maybe just a little bit wider than this, what I used to mat her in. The white I matted her in. And this is another one of the papers. And on the other side is the plaid, which I tried both ways. Okay, and I'm going to put her just kind of like that. Oh, just a minute. I think I forgot my. No, I didn't. It was right next to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting her up here, and I'm going to be putting this little rabbit ring that I just love the rabbits. And so it's like I'm going to stick this in here. So I'm trying to decide where I want it because I think I want it kind of, do I want it over the corner or? Maybe about like that. Gosh, I got something on my ruler. Prop looks like glue. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe about right there. I'm just going to put them where they're almost touching. I just love this collection. And, but it's every, every collection I've used for my collection obsession, I end up thinking, boy, I don't even know what I'm going to use. <laughs> and um, the one I'm going to use for my next one is one that I made um, like a, what is it, like a knockoff kit. So I'm going to try that because it's been hanging in my closet forever. Okay, so I've got that done. And now I'm going to put this little rabbit up in the corner. Or rabbits, but I'm going to hide one of the rabbits, which makes me sad. But I'm going to do it anyway because that's where I liked it the best. And I'm going to leave the feet stick out because you won't even be able to tell what it is. Okay, and then up here in this corner, which this is something I, I don't do very often unless maybe I'm following a sketch and then do it because I'm going to do one of these um, little embellishment clusters in the top. So I think that's fun to get to do something I don't normally do. Okay, I don't know how much tape I need because... I'm going to not have it all the way there, maybe like that. 
because I don't want it all the way down to the pictures. And these were in the bits and pieces. And then I have um, this little floral too that also was in the bits and pieces. And you know, I always just tape everything and then glue it later just because um, the tape is much more forgiving if you get it in the wrong place. So that's why I'm always trying to use tape first. And I'm gonna just kind of um, pull this around like it's just kind of hanging there. And then I've got this little bow from the sticker sheet and this one's gold and I'm going to put that so it's kind of like in the middle. So I've got kind of the same dimension here as here and kind of stick it over the flower so it looks like it's kind of holding the flower there. And then I'm going to cut that off and so I can just do that now. And this is one of those things I hate to do <laughs> because it's like, oh, am I going to cut it straight? Am I going to cut it into the cardstock? I mean, sometimes I have accidentally cut the thing, so it always kind of worries me. <laughs> okay. And then I've got one of the tags also from the bits and pieces and I guess I'm gonna have to cut this down because I want it to here and I've already taped and besides we don't need all this anyway so I'll take that out and I'm gonna put that just about there to the X's Probably enough there. Okay, and then I've got another one of those bows. I mean, I have one. Okay, <laughs> and this time I'm using the navy bow. And I'm just going to hook it kind of like right where the hole is so it looks like it's kind of tied there. And then I have these two flowers. Actually, I have three flowers. Okay, so one I'm going to kind of tuck down here on the corner. And then one up here. And where do I want that? I want it going this way. I'm going to kind of overlap the picture. I told you how I like everything touching. And then I have this one that's got the stem on it. And these are all from um, that sticker book. And I'm just going to kind of overlap everything. So I got the three flowers overlapping there. And if I have to, I'll put a little dimensional underneath there. Oh, I have this, I don't know if it's black or navy blue, but I mean, it's super dark. I think it's a black. And I'm gonna stick that in the circle of my little rabbit ring. I'm gonna try to center it. Okay, whoops. Say that's it. That way it just looks like it has something in it because it does. <laughs> you know how I like to state the obvious. Okay, and then I have this sticker, another flower. I'll tell you, every time I want to use the big flowers and it's like, no, it doesn't look right. <laughs> And it's like, this is what I love. That's what I love about the collection is the flowers and the gingham. But 
it's like sometimes the other papers work better but I guess that's what happens when it is a collection you love okay now remember I brought in these little ribbon slides because um, somebody on the crafty low or and no spin group had asked what thing do you wish that they still made and and I thought well I love I loved those slides and it's like well I have those slides where are they so then I went searching for them and found them and so I am trying to use them okay now I need my score tape and what did I do with that there it is okay now the last time I think I put the score tape on my ribbon and I think this time I'm going to put the score tape on my paper and see how that works because it's like I bunched it up and I didn't like that and do I have a pencil here yes I do so I think I'm going to put it kind of like right here so it's kind of, I'll see it, I should be able to use these, um, lining it up on one of these blue lines, okay, I think there. there okay so I'm gonna do that see if I can do that good do that good okay and it's gonna go all the way across so I'm just gonna cut about that much and if I do a little bit more I'll just add to it okay and I'm just gonna run it here where is it? Okay. Or did I have it here? You know what? I have it running both places. I think that's it. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I better do this. At least get it close. Because I can see where the line comes across. I'm just not sure which one it is. Okay, I think this is it. Okay, I'm gonna set it there and then check it. Okay, I think that is perfect. Okay. Okay, so that's good there. And I noticed when you use score tape, if you rub it down good and then pull it up, then it pulls up easier. There. And then I will have to, you know, glue around the other side. Okay. And right there should do it. Oh, and I still moved it. it and double check it again and I gotta just do this because a little ribbon slides in the way but I'd say that is it okay now I'm just gonna flip it over and put a little tape there and I think that should do it if it doesn't I will put more score tape there love it I'll tell you from now on I'm um, when I do the collection obsession maybe um, I'll try to remember to do I don't, it's easy with the collection obsession because you're gonna use it four times so it's easier pulling out things to use on that particular thing 
And so I'm going to do this every time. Pull out things that I just am not using. Because I love it that I'm using these now. Okay, and the title is going to be Sunshine. Because she is in the sunshine. Because she's got a big shadow on her. <laughs> so, I thought you can really tell that she's in the sun here. Okay, and that looks like it's centered to me. I'm going to kind of check it a little bit. Oh, and I need to go this way. Okay. So one, two, three, and three eighths. And what do we have over here? One, two, three, and I need to go over just a smidge. Okay, and that looks like it's straight up and down. Okay. And then I have, let's see, these enamel dots look like the lighter version of this, so that's what I'm going to use. I could use the, well, I think this blue just is perfect. Okay. And it's a blue I have not used for a long time, if I've used it before. But I like it. And then over here... Here in this, I'm gonna stick one right in the middle. I'm gonna stick a big one over here. And this one over here, and then maybe another small one. Did I even pull one off? <laughs> oh yes, I did. Now I have two. Okay, I only need one. See if I can get rid of it. I think I need to cut my nails when, <laughs> when I'm scooping up dots. I can't find them. Okay, so there's another collection obsession. Um, I think at least through February, I am going to just be working on the obligations of the um, through the rainbow, the collection obsession, and the themes on the 13th until I get that room cleaned up <laughs> hopefully I can get it all done because um, I would really like to um, be able to feel like it's not so dusty in there and I mean I didn't really notice the dust you know because it's like it just kind of blends in you know it's not like a color <laughs> <laughs> it's just blending in with the paper. But anyhow, I'm just trying to get it cleaned up, trying to get everything organized. And so um, I hope you'll continue joining me in my um, quest to be more organized. And um, I know a couple of you have been saying that you have been um, organizing right along with, and I know that Ginger has. So, oh, and I know that Scylla has been organizing too. So I know there's a few of us at it. I think it must be the January thing. It's like, you know, we've got cabin fever. Um, we don't want to be in the house when it's spring at spring cleaning time, so we have to do it now. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me, and I'll have close-ups at the end. Remember to check out the other ladies that are doing the collection up session. They'll be in the drop-down menu. And thank you again for joining me. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.